Today we're staying at Palace Station. Let's head on in. Just checked into our room here at Palace Station. We're on the 21st floor, almost at the top, in room 26. This is the Premier King, so that is their standard cheapest room. Online, it did not say how many square feet it is, but let's take a look around. first impression when I walk into the room is these huge tall ceilings and this epic window. It's so unique and so is our view. We have the mountains and some residential area but then you can also see the strip. It's just letting in so much natural light which really adds to the airiness of the room. Now this hotel was built in 1976 and I think they've played into that a little bit with the decor. We have some like deep brown shades and a little bit of a funky feel. I really like the wallpaper behind the bed and the really big headboard. Behind me is our entertainment center, a big long desk here for you to work, and the TV. So overall, I feel like the furniture feels really well upkept and it feels kinda new, but they've also played into that sort of retro feeling. Just outside the bathroom, they do have a full length mirror and an open closet to put all of your things. I do like this bathroom setup. We have the vanity area here. It's really big, plenty of space to put your stuff, big mirror, and then in a separate area, you do have the toilet and the shower. The shower is a shower tub combo with a full glass door. So overall, pretty nice and a really good size. So that is our room. Now I did not find a personal fridge or a coffee maker, but I like the room, it's cozy. These are some of my favorite reviews to do because we have never even set foot in Palace Station. So these are totally my first impressions. We're gonna look at everything with fresh eyes and cover the whole casino. The first thing I wanna do is to check out the Oyster Bar. It's incredibly popular. There was already a line when we came to check in and seafood sounds amazing. So let's go. Got seated at Oyster Bar. Now there is a wait. There's always a wait, even though they're open 24 hours a day. We waited a half hour, so it really wasn't bad at all. Now it's not just an Oyster Bar. It's actually a seafood boil, and they boil your dishes right in front of you. We started with some oysters. They were huge. They were fresh. They were really good. I got the crab pan roast, and Mr. Ruby got the gumbo. They're both delicious. Unique and different. The gumbo is more spicy. Mine's a little more creamy and sweet. Honestly, the plates are huge. You could share easily. It's worth the wait. Well worth the wait. I highly recommend this. It was delicious. Oof, the air conditioning has got me cold. It's time to go to the pool. Palace Station's pool area. It is a smaller pool. I will say though, all the furniture looks new. They do have a bar area. It's also really quiet. There's like no one here. We practically have it to ourselves. I also really love the view of the strip from here. So overall, it's a pool that will suffice on this 110 degree day. Time to take a dip.
were a little bit refreshed, although I will say it's so hot outside that the pool water was like warm. <laughs> we are just getting freshed up and then we are gonna head downstairs and check out the casino. As I said, Palace Station was built in 1976 and it's the first property to have locals in mind. They wanted this to be a place that locals come. In terms of slots, they always have a great variety. There are way more games here than you'll see on strip. Tables wise, we've got $10 craps and $10 roulette. $10 blackjack, six to five. $15 blackjack is three to two. They have a beautiful bingo hall here, a really lovely high limit room. It's just got this really fresh feel, so overall the station casinos are a great place to gamble and Palace Station is no exception to that. Came upstairs to check out the movie theater it's called the Cinnabar and they actually do have like a whole bar and lounge area here with an outdoor patio so you can sit and have a drink before you go and check out a show let's talk about the location here at Palace Station you're off strip but you're right off of Sahara which is a crossroad right with Las Vegas Boulevard. I still wouldn't call this walkable. You're gonna need to have a car or you're gonna need an Uber. Overall, I feel like this property is kind of for those who wanna be off strip, but be really close to the action. It's getting close to dinner. We do have a lot of dining options. If we wanted something quick, we could do Panda Express or Wingstop. Tailgate Social is a sports bar. The Boathouse is Japanese. There's the charcoal room, which is their high-end steakhouse, but it's hot. We're feeling something a little different. I'm craving some Mexican food. Let's head on in. Just got seated here at Tacos and Tequila. Now they are famous for their margaritas. I forgot to mention earlier, they gave us a coupon book when we checked in. We can either get buy one, get one margs or a free appetizer if we buy two entrees. So I'm just craving a marg and some tacos. It sounds really good. So for our free appetizer, we got the dip trio. So it was bean dip, guac, and nacho cheese. They taste homemade, they're really good. My margarita is perfect. Now for our mains, I ordered the grilled chicken tacos, comes with rice and beans, that was 17 bucks. Mr. Ruby got the trio, so he got an enchilada, a taco, and a quesadilla with rice and beans for 24 bucks. So the prices are definitely right, and this looks really good, so let's give it a shot. The food all tastes really homemade. It's honestly so, so good, so. That's some good food, really fresh. So we're two for two on good restaurants. Now we need to go find ourselves a place to have a drink. Come on, real close. Oh, I had three, but. Stations always has a bunch of these center bars in their casinos where they have a ton of tabletop gaming. We're gonna sit here, play a little video poker, have a beer, and we will see you guys all in the morning. Good morning. I thought the bed was gonna be too soft for me, but I actually slept like a rock. I am starving, so we are gonna run downstairs and get some breakfast. We made it to the Brass Fork Kitchen and Bar. This is actually open 24 hours. I am feeling like I need something fresh, so I am eyeing this fruit plate. Food has arrived, wow, the portions are huge. Mr. Ruby's breakfast was like $13. It's massive, three eggs, pancakes, bacon. This fruit plate with Greek yogurt, I think was like $11. And then I got a side of hash brown and eggs. So this looks like a big hearty breakfast to start our day.
time for me to give you guys my final thoughts on Palace Station. So we stayed on a Wednesday night and total with taxes, resort fees, everything, the room was $112. The room was nice. I have no complaints. The furniture was really upkept. It's really clean. It was also super quiet. So we had a really nice night's sleep. I have to say this hotel is for the gamblers. When we were down in the casino last night, we were watching people hit bonuses. People were cheering. All the table games were full. And I just find that the gaming is really fair and they have a really good variety. Strictly, the Oyster Bar alone is worth making the trip out here, wait in the line. We will absolutely be back for that. It was fantastic. And all the other food we had here was good. Now, I don't think that Palace Station is gonna take the crown as my favorite station's casino. That would be Red Rock or Green Valley Ranch. So those are my thoughts on Palace Station. I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll catch you guys all in our next one.